It's episode 7, and this week we're going to be taking a look at new games Sway and Hysteria before heading off to see a man about a dog and some fresh news on the troubled underworld. There are also reviews of Orion Legend of Wizards, Paper Pilot and Radio Flare to get stuck into. So, without another moment's delay, if it's sticky animals you're keen on, then the new title Sway from Illusion Labs is going to have you glued to your iPod like you never thought possible. The game has you controlling an array of adhesive coated critters, using the touchscreen to manoeuvre them from A to B. The graphics are stunning so far, and the comic book stylings are a great fit for this sort of title. Illusion Labs has already given us the effortlessly enjoyable titles Touch Ground and Labyrinth, so hopefully Sway will live up to the company's impressive lineage. Look out for a review in the coming weeks. The controversial title Underworld, a game in which you buy and sell fictional street drugs, has been mired in approval purgatory for months now, with Apple seemingly unable to decide if Asteroids Digital Dealing Game is a step too far for the App Store. Originally penned for release in early November 2008 under the title Drug Lords, the game, which is a reimagining of cult 1990s classic Dope Wars, makes use of GPS and Wi-Fi so you can conduct your illicit business with other players in your geographical vicinity. The head of Asteroids, Andre Podo Prigora, contacted Pocket Gamer to say Underworld is now getting a naughty jailbroken release and hinted that a much less controversial reskin of the game, where the drug element is replaced with something a bit more legal, may yet get an App Store release too. We lie in wait. Rising from the smoking wreckage of the recently axed Vivendi Games mobile studio, developer BulkyPix is gearing up for its first iPhone release with Hysteria, and it has everything to prove. From what we can gather, the game will most likely be a choose-your-own-adventure style interactive video effort, which makes great sense for the iPhone given it has such a lush high-definition screen. It all looks very spooky, with some seriously polished production values and a rat -a -tat white noise soundtrack that will surely get spines a-tingling. Given the open nature of the App Store, the game may be heavily sanitised, but as long as Bulky Picks gets the mood and the atmosphere right, Hysteria should make for a great skin em up on iPhone. A review will be creeping its way into the podcast soon. Flares often accompany misfortune, but instead of calling for help, Radio Flare highlights a unique mix of music and touchscreen blasting action that, whilst flawed, definitely brings something new to the App Store. Playing as a lone space pilot stroke DJ, you move your ship by holding a finger down on your vessel and sliding it around the screen. You can target up to four enemies simultaneously with a swipe of a second finger, each of which is then automatically dispatched off in time with the music. Vanquish foes drop red flares which, when picked up in sufficient numbers, advance you to the next stage. It's a gratifying formula, and the benefit of a multi-touch screen has seldom been more evident in any other iPhone game. It's a shame that the musical integration is less than fundamental to the gameplay, and worse still, though the ambient music is inoffensive, for a title hinged on musical interaction the available tracks are unforgivably bland. The game's five stages are shared between arcade and flow modes, making for scant content, and though Radio Flare is generally well designed, it's visually bare at times too. That said, Radio Flare is fun throughout, and later stages do present a genuine challenge. If music-based shooters are your thing, then Radio Flare is a solid start for the iPhone. Flying a paper aeroplane is a childhood rite of passage, and it's the sort of fun that usually excludes grown-ups. Luckily, Paper Pilot from Clever Coding is the perfect excuse to indulge in stationary-based aviation, though it does seem a bit more tricky than crafting a decent paper airplane ever did. The game is controlled with the accelerometer, where you tilt the iPhone to steer the plane, collecting floating paper clips as you go. The integration of the tilt controls is masterful, and combined with the adjustable speed slider on the left, the range of maneuverability is unmatched in the genre. The aim is to collect all the floating paper clips against the clock, which, if done quick enough, unlocks new areas to fly in. The game moves with a pleasing fluidity, and though there are only four different levels and a total of eight courses, everything is lovingly detailed. It is unforgivingly difficult, and even unlocking the second stage requires a significant time investment. This necessitates repeated level restarts, which annoyingly loops the game's soundtrack back to the start each time. But the challenge is satisfying, and it's refreshing for a flight game to focus so firmly on precision control as opposed to mindless blasting. If you seek a challenge and don't mind a lack of targets, Paper Pilot is a design masterclass that no real-life paper airplane could beat. Who'd have thought that ultra-geeky tabletop gaming would ever find a home on the super-trendy iPhone? Surprisingly, Orion's Legend of Wizards is a perfect fit and brings a dusty old tabletop formula bang up to date. The game is set in the Orions, an archipelago of floating islands, and your goal is to gain stewardship of every one of them whilst thwarting the nefarious Dark Lord's attempts to do the same. The game is divided into three manageable segments. The first is defence, where you build fortresses and military outposts on the islands you already own. The second is travel, where you take it in turns to journey strategically to other islands, and the last segment is card-based battling. 
In battle, your cards are split into six different categories consisting of various spells, status and creature cards, each of different strengths. You deal a card into one of five positions each turn, attempting to beat your enemy's corresponding card. It's complex stuff, with a depth that few games on the App Store can rival. Some players might be intimidated by the near vertical learning curve, but everything looks and sounds gorgeous and if you have the patience there's hours of fun to be had. It may not be especially hip, but Orion's Legend of Wizards is definitely top draw entertainment. Thanks for watching the Pocket Gamer iPhone Gaming Podcast. If you're looking for more iPhone gaming news, reviews and features, you can download the Pocket Gamer iPhone application from the App Store. Or just point your Safari browser at www.pocketgamer.co.uk forward slash iPhone. Better still, why not subscribe to this very podcast, which can be found under Games and Hobbies in the podcast section of iTunes. That's it for now. So until next time, happy Pocket Gaming.